In the last section of our work, we looked at multiplying integers, and in this section, we look at dividing int integers. Uh, the process is essentially the same. If you're dividing two positive numbers, the answer is positive, just like in the past. Two negative numbers, the answer is again still positive, just like with multiplication. If one is positive and one is negative, then the answer is negative. And that's the only difference between uh, dividing integers, uh, now that we're dealing with negative values as well, and how we divided numbers in the past. So with example one, we're given four different uh, division problems. With part A, we're given 10 divided by negative 2. And since 1 is positive and 1 is negative, we know the solution is going to be negative. And then we just divide the actual numerical values. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5. With part B, again, 1 is negative, 1 is positive, so we know the solution is going to be negative. 20 divided by 4 is 5, so negative 20 divided by 4 is Again, negative 5. With C, uh, it's written as a fraction, negative 33, but all the, all the fraction bar means is divide. So this is the same thing as negative 33 divided by 3. 1 is negative, 1 is positive, so we know the solution is going to be negative. <clears throat> and then 33 divided by 3 is 11. So negative 33 divided by 3 is negative 11. And then with part D, uh, again, we can rewrite this as our typical division problem. It's negative 48 divided by negative 12. We know that that is going to be positive because both values are negative, and a negative divided by a negative is a positive, uh, similar to a negative times a negative is a, a positive. So negative 48 divided by negative 12, that's the same thing as 48 divided by 12, which is going to be 4, and that's just because uh, negative 12 times 4 is negative 48. 